convex form of a parabola. Okay, um, so we found, you guys just took a test on functions of the form y <laughs> equals a times f of b times x minus k plus h. <laughs> all right, you're right, Janelle. <laughs> okay. Now, why are um, you laughing? I don't know. A is what you multiply by the y. Oh, okay. It works kind of like slope exactly once. Well, once on each side of a parabola, it's symmetrical. Divide by the x. B is what you divide the x by. Yeah, that's okay. the Counterintuitive shift left and right, intuitive shift up and down. Um, on a parabola, we're only going to deal with y equals a times x minus k squared plus h. The reason why there won't be a b is we're going to use completing the square in some cases to get to this form, and when you complete the square, you always factor out so the x has a 1 in front of it. Okay? I'm going to start with probably the hardest thing first and work my way to somewhat easier. Um, but this will still be the counterintuitive shift left and right. This will still be the intuitive shift up and down. This will behave kind of like slope, but just once. And if this is a fraction, remember the fraction goes over 1. But it's good, because after you get the vertex from K and H, you only want two, points, two other points anyway. You Boom. You are golden. You're right with me today, Johannes. Okay. So, coming over here, we now have an example. If I say to graph the following parabola, you guys remember completing the square? Yes. Yeah. Yes, I do. Okay. Um, we'll find you, out in a minute and I'll review it as the necessary. Term, the second term by yeah, two. I remember the basic concept, but the real study. Actually, you have to pull out whatever. How about equals y, or f of x? Um, that would help. That would help a bit. Helps to actually have a two-dimensional problem in the graph in two dimensions. OK, um, this is not in vertex form. And there's lots of things we could do here. We could use negative b over 2a to find the vertex. And then we could use find all the intercepts. We'll, get, we'll probably review that quickly at some point. Um, but I want to get it into vertex form. That's the whole point of this, tying this into what we just did with functions. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to factor the 2 out first. But I'm only going to factor it out of the first two terms. Have I written something that is equal to what was on the line above it? Yes, yes, you have. There's okay. an equal sign. Excellent. Woo! <laughs> Just an equal sign doesn't mean I'm going to write it equal every time. But don't get crazy now, John. All right, now, um, this is the tricky part. OK? I want to complete the square inside this parentheses. So what would I like to have at the end of this You'll want a plus final? One. I'd like a plus one in there. Plus, I was going to put a blank in, but Johannes answered it too fast. I'm going to switch colors here. Plus one. Now I still have this minus three. Now, whatever I do inside this parentheses, for these two things to be equal, I have to do something outside the parentheses to balance it. Plus one. No. Well, plus one would just be adding one. Oh, plus one. two, plus two. Minus? Plus, minus two. I'm not doing it to both sides of the equation. Okay? I have to do something that gets rid of what I did. So if I add one, oh, okay. then what should I do to balance adding one on the same side of the equation? Subtract one. Should subtract one. But like you pointed out very cleverly, Janine, I'm not adding one. I'm adding one times two. So if I plus 1 in here, I need to have minus 2 out here to balance it. Okay, I can't actually change the value of this side of the equation. And it's a function, so I can't do anything to the y side. It always has to be y equals. So make sure I stay in a function. So if I'm going to add something inside my parentheses, I have to subtract the same thing outside the parentheses. Does that make sense? Yeah, that makes sense. Yes. Is this an auto box? Yes. Oh, they're good. I'm I dropped my BlackBerry so many times is I this don't want to see anything happen to my iPhone. Is this my Transformers now? Yeah. <laughs> yes. To just okay. Now, challenging. so now this becomes two it's a cover. times x plus one Wait, why squared. Why do you subtract two? 
I'll come back to that in one sec. Let me finish this line. Minus 5. Okay. Where did this plus 1 come from, Kath? Um, the square. Okay, true. It came from completing the square, I realized I needed a plus 1 there. Okay. But I can't just throw a plus 1 into an equation without doing something to balance that somewhere else. Yeah, I'm just wondering why it was a minus 2 of all things. Instead of a minus 1? Yeah. Okay. Because here's the tricky part. When I added one inside oh, of the parentheses, it's multiplied, by two. it's multiplied by two on the outside. Adding one in here is actually adding a total of two because I'm adding one times two. Then the minus two is to get it back to how, how it was. Yeah. With this minus two, this is now the same as what I started with. Okay. Mr. Belville, you need one of those teaching sticks. I do. I have one at home. A meter really? stick? Oh, yeah, it's, I think you brought my kids with it. Yeah, I'm afraid I hit a kid with it. Exactly, yeah. I <laughs> would just. Parker. <laughs> Parker, yeah. All right. Um, not just Parker. Um, Johannes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> all right, so is this now in vertex form? Yes. Okay, so now graphing this becomes fairly easy based on what we did last week. Oh, we're graphing it. Now we're graphing it. Um, so. <laughs> The vertex is at minus one plus five. Minus one plus five. Very good. Need to make a small scale for this one. One, two, three, four, five. Is this thing smiling or frowning? Smiling. Wait, one smiling over. Smiling has a positive a. No, it's one over down five. Pardon? It starts down five. Oh yeah. yeah yes, 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 yes. It's minus one minus five. It's not counterintuitive on both. Apparently, oh, today's been uh, not around. my best day. No, I, I said, wait, did I say minus one plus one? I think you said minus five. I said minus one? Well, I heard it wrong. We can check, we can go to the uh, instant replay later. <laughs> now, from here, then please double check me today. That two at the beginning means I go over one, up two to the right, and here's another way it's different from slope. I go over one, up two to the left. Can I continue going over one up two? No. No. And now, switching colors this time just because I feel like it. Otherwise it would be like absolute value. There we go. That's my parabola. I could find these x-intercepts with the quadratic formula and do an even better graph. Um, this, this is already the y-intercept, so I got that. It's at negative three, which is correct. So, um, but for to this tonight's homework, all I care about are these three points. So I'm not going to grade you on how accurate the x-intercepts are. Are they all parabolas? Uh, tonight is all parabolas. That's all you're doing. Um, this is about as hard as the graphing ones get, but I'm going to do one more thing, which is working backwards. Negative 1, negative 5. Want to write the equation? Yeah, from a graph. 0, negative 3, and negative 2, negative 3. Just figure out the slope from whatever is over I think on the 1 first. is your a. Okay. And then your vertex is? With the opposite of your x. And then same as your Very good. Let's do one example, even though I think Megan's got it. Um, and then can we go outside? We'll miss one track mine. <laughs> we probably won't span it. Um, OK. So from a graph, the thing is you guys are going to figure this out like as I graph it, so I can't draw it fast enough and accurate enough. I'll wait for you to draw it, Mr. Bellow. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Hey, does anybody else hear music? Yeah. It's just the spaceship landing to take us away. <laughs> Even vertex. <laughs> That's smooth. Uh, yes. He's really going to go outside. <laughs> <laughs> He'll see me up outside the window, not going to last. Can I come back in? Can you guys see these points from here? Perfect. Okay. What is the vertex? Give me the point first. What does the vertex Five, seem to two. be? 5, 2. 5, 2. I started to write it a moment ago. Uh, what is, is this point that it looks like it passes through? Which one, sorry? 5, this 2, 2. Oh. Right, no, no. 6, negative 2. 6. 6, negative 2. Six, negative two. And what's this one look like? Four, four negative four. two. Four, negative two. Do I need to draw four quadrants? No. Like, are we going to... Okay. No. Um, okay. So from this... I think I got it. What's A? Let's do the hard part first. You go negative over one, two. 
And down how far? Oh, no, no, you go down three. Or four, four, sorry. Yeah, you go down four. four. So this is f of x equals negative four times x minus, what's five? five. Don't forget the square. Square plus two. Plus two. Any questions on that? Um, what does the b do again? I well, b, we're not dealing with b. All right. B won't show up because uh, when you complete the square, you always go to uh, you always factor out whatever's in front of the x, and B won't show up, and you don't need B to figure it out. Um, incident, well, no, I won't do that example. There's one thing I can do to show you the relationship between the two, but I'll save that for next week. Questions, comments, concerns, or compliments? You look wonderful. Thank you. I appreciate that. All right, um, then the homework, which I'll go ahead and say here, let's get that on tape if I can get to it without breaking the iPad, um, is page 284. Maybe you'll get money for saying iPad. <laughs> Steve Jobs, hope you're listening. Jobs, Jobs. Hey, Jobs. 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 There's no B. I don't think he's biblical. <laughs> That's a great response. Um, 4 through 28 every fourth, and then that's the complex number bit. And then it's um, page 298. One through, I think those are matching. Yeah, one through eight all. And 10 to 30. Does that get you every fourth? Yes. Every fourth. So much. 10, 14. It's not bad. One to eight is matching. This is only seven problems, seven or eight. I should know that. And this should be five. And it should, it should be review. Okay. Thank you very much.